This is Gaobai Jin, located some 80 kilometers south of Beijing. It's a small city by Chinese standards. Around 600,000 residents live in its metropolitan area. And all of them produce garbage. The more affluent they are, the more waste they generate. China's rapid growth is creating an environmental nightmare. Not very many towns and villages offer professional garbage removal like they do in Gaobaijin. And it's only just begun here too. Many communities are hesitant to introduce garbage removal systems because it costs them money. Trash in China doesn't yet contain many recoverables. It mostly consists of food waste and low-grade plastics. Firms which produce valuable waste often sell it privately, or garbage pickers collect it from rubbish bins. In Gaobaijin, people gave little thought to what happened to food scraps or biological waste, so long as it wasn't rotting on their own doorstep. People used to just drop their garbage off at the nearest corner and it just piled up for a while. Sometimes a truck would come and take it away. At other times the city would just burn the trash. Today it's better. Our garbage is picked up and brought to a real waste treatment plant and disposed of properly. There's now a rubbish bin in front of every building in the city, and it's emptied regularly. That's part of Gaobaijian's new waste disposal concept. But it'll be some time before systems like this will be in place across China. In the countryside and in many small towns, they don't have the infrastructure to organize such garbage collection schemes. Local officials often lack the environmental awareness as well. Environmental protection doesn't come cheap and is often seen as hampering growth and profit. So few here give it much thought. In Gaobaijian too, the push for change came from abroad. The AWN waste management company from southern Germany developed the city's professional garbage collection system. The waste disposal plant on the city's outskirts is central to this concept. Part of an international initiative to reduce global warming, it was funded by the German Environment Ministry. By the end of 2012, the plant will be run entirely by the Chinese, though Germans will still serve as advisors. The city of Gobaiden assumes the costs of running the waste treatment plant. We provide the know-how. We bring the specialists to process the garbage, to recover the valuable materials we retrieve from the waste. You can tell how rich a society is from its garbage. Gabai Jens doesn't contain much of value. The processing area smells awful as many greenhouse gases are being produced. In most regions of China, garbage is dumped untreated into pits or piled up to form mountains of trash. This isn't just unsightly, it also contributes to climate change. So treating the garbage is important. Methane is one of the most environmentally harmful gases in existence. Seen from a global perspective, around 10% of these damaging gases come from landfill sites. That's why with this plant, we're trying on one hand to recover valuable materials from the garbage and recycle them. On the other, we're trying to stabilize the organic matter found in the garbage so it won't produce any more methane gas. Methane is a greenhouse gas some 20 times more harmful to the environment than CO2. So it's best to prevent it from being produced in the first place. And this can be done quite cheaply. In Germany, it costs up to 1,000 euros to reduce CO2 emissions by one ton. The operator of this facility says he can achieve the same results for less than 10 euros. The plant was designed to meet the needs of the Chinese. People do the final sorting of the garbage to recover any valuable materials. These employees formerly earned their living as garbage pickers on the streets. Professionalizing Gaobaijian's trash collection systems drastically reduced their incomes, so they now work at the plant. 
The advantage of working here is that I work shorter hours than I did before. Outside I pick through garbage day and night, but now it's just eight hours and I earn more money. After the sifting and sorting comes the most vital part of the operation, as far as environmental protection is concerned. The residual waste has moved about and aerated. This prevents the occurrence of chemical reactions which produce methane gas. And this means the garbage also doesn't stink anymore. With this new technology, we can treat the waste properly for our citizens. Now there's an official garbage dump here. The waste is pulverized and then put into a landfill. The many illegal dumps which destroy the countryside have disappeared and there's less environmental pollution. The remaining waste is inspected regularly. Measuring probes are used to monitor the process of decay. If necessary, the waste will be aerated again. This is done using pumps which force air through underground pipes. The air then comes out through small holes in the ground. Today everyone's happy with the project, but it was hard to get it off the ground. The catalyst for such projects was really pressure exerted by China's central government to do something to protect the environment. But during the course of the realization, you can see people's mindsets change. They gradually become proud of their projects. If Matthias Ginter had his way, every city in China would have a waste treatment facility like this. He hopes others will now follow Gao Baijian's example.